Hello everyone and you're very welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, this video is all about how to get started in voiceover from absolute scratch uh, in 2021. Now we are in lockdown of course so some of you might be looking for a different way to work from home um, to make some extra income. Perhaps you want to do it as a side gig or a hobby but um, it will and can and will make you money. It might take a little bit of time, of course, but this hopefully uh, will speed up the process for you. So the most important thing, first of all, is that you can speak and you can read. If you have those two things, it's the perfect way and the best way to start. Um, of course, people say to me, it's easy for me because I can do many accents, but that's not always the case. Everyone has an accent everyone can speak so it could be for example american or an english or a russian or spanish or french or irish or whatever but uh, there's a need for everything everywhere and there's always a need for, for for a voiceover so let's get started on what you will need um first of all of course you'll need a laptop or a pc which i'm sure you already have um and the next thing you'll need is audio software, uh, recording audio software to record your voiceovers. Now, you may already have some of these, so I'm just going to name them anyway. Uh, there's Reaper, there's Adobe Audition, Studio One, for example. These are not free, um, but you know, if you have them, then well and good. Uh, what is really budget friendly, absolutely free, and a great way to uh, to get started in to the business and entry level a recording format is Audacity. Audacity is a free and easy to use audio editor and recorder. You can download it on Mac, on Windows, etc., on all the things, uh, basically. Uh, I'm not sure of the rest of them, but definitely Audacity is the way to go. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you what I mean by Audacity. So just bear with me here, folks, for one minute. Okay, here we go. And yes, as you can see, this is Audacity, free to download. And um, I, I think it's the best way to start. I really do. I think it's the best, the best option for sure. So you can just download it. And if you haven't already got it, just download it. And it's, 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 a, great, um, it's a great way to start. Now, uh, I'm just gonna quickly show you what it looks like when you have it downloaded. Okay, bear with me again. Here we go. As you can see, this is Audacity. Pretty simple. Record, stop, etc. I've actually made another video, um, a tutorial on my channel on how to master the audio and how to cut out, uh, you know, breaths and sounds and different things like that. So I think that's the best way uh, to get started. Without doubt, Audacity is, is the way to go. And I mean, I've Use Audacity for a long time, uh, starting off, and I've got lots of work using Audacity. I've been on TV, my voice has, on video games using Audacity. So I, I think it's the best way to go to start off. And of course, it's free. And of course, if you have the other ones that I mentioned, the Reaper and the Adobe and Studio One, feel free to use those as well. Okay, um, the next thing you'll need is a microphone. You'll need some headphones and you will need an interface, okay? Um, now, basically an interface is a little box that connects the microphone to your PC or laptop. It's a middleman that can control the gain and control the monitor, how you hear. It sounds a little bit complicated, but it's actually not. And I'll explain why um, in a few minutes. Now let's speak about uh, budget. Okay, so you might not have a lot to spend. You might have some money to spend to invest in your in your business starting off. Um, second hand might also be an option. You know, voice artists are very careful people and they look after their equipment. A lot of times they'll upgrade. So they'll sell or exchange or possibly sell um, their, their old equipment, which should be in pretty good condition. But uh, of course, you know, that you don't have the option then of going back to the shop with a receipt if it's not working. So if you can if you can afford to buy new, then I'd buy new. Um, there is an option also, I'm sure you can, wherever you are, if it's Craigslist or whatever, you can, um, you can find some secondhand gear, no problem at all. But you will need a microphone, an interface, and some headphones, and of course a laptop and Audacity. So we've covered this uh, so far. 
there is a really good um, Facebook page called, I think it's VO Gear Exchange, where uh, voice artists and voice actors basically sell or exchange their old, um, their old gear. Um, now, I'm going to show you what not to do. And this is the first thing I did. So I started off and I bought this thing for about 20, 15 euros online because I thought, you know, it's my, I'm going to take a gamble at this thing. I don't want to invest much. Um, so I bought this thing here, right, from one of those websites. They probably sell them on Amazon as well. I think I bought it from a Chinese website, but basically it's absolutely useless and uh, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, now, like I said, you will need these things. You'll need a headphones, a microphone and an interface. Uh, what I did then, straight after I purchased this disaster of a thing, I invested in a Scarlett, Focusrite Scarlett kit, which basically cost me about, I think 200 euros, 210 euros, which is uh, new of course, uh, which is about $250, $240, or about 180 British pounds. Um, and this, I, I have the box here still, as you can see, here we go. So this thing here, okay, yes, all right. So the uh, the Scarlett Focusrite Studio, Solo Studio, comes with the headphones. It comes with a microphone and an interface. Yeah. Uh, so basically everything you need to start off all in one. Now the interface is for me one of the best on the market. It's it's still I still use it today. It's my main interface and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I have since upgraded for my microphone, but the microphone that I got with the uh, with the Scarlett. I've voiced TV commercials. I've been, you know, on radio. I've done a couple of video games. Also, lots of voiceovers with that microphone. Um, you will need a boom arm. Let's see if I can show you here. So basically, it's it's the the arm, mechanical arm. I might have one here actually, an extra one. Yes, I do. So you'll need a boom arm. Probably need a boom arm. A boom arm basically is this thing here, and it just connects your uh, put it to a table or a desk, and you can. Your microphone then becomes very flexible to move to exactly where you want it. So it costs about 15, 20 euros on Amazon. Uh, also, this is really important. This is called a pop filter. And a pop filter um, goes in front. You can see it here in front of the, the microphone. Also, you can get them for about 10 euros, which again could be 12, 15 dollars uh, on Amazon or wherever. And um, what they do is they, they block out a lot of the noise and they should stop the plodding so the peter pan uh went to poland the peas things like that the the, the pop filter should stop those p sounds going into your audio of course um you know there are other plenty of other microphones and plenty of other interfaces and lots of other places that you know you can buy all this equipment this is just a recommendation of what i did and i think it's a really good way um to get started. So I'm just going to give you a quick look at um, the Focusrite Scarlet. Bear with me just for a second. And here we are. I've actually found it on Amazon. It's on offer at the minute, um, $219. And uh, of course it was, I think, 272. So this is what I use starting off and it has absolutely everything. And the most beautiful thing about it um is of course that once once you download audacity and you connect um the interface with the usb cable to your laptop or your pc automatically um it shows up so there's no need to download programs or do any of that kind of stuff at all um, so it's really user friendly and quick to get started which is exactly what you need because it's a lot of information to take in at the start trying to learn all these things and all the mistakes that I made. Um, you know, I wish somebody had told me all these small things, but even if they did, it's still, you know, something you have to look over again. And when you look back on it, it's quite simple. But looking at it now, you know, it's a lot of information to take in. So the next thing you're going to need is a recording space, somewhere that's as silent as possible. Now, where I am now looks pretty cool and it's pretty soundproof but I didn't start off that way because of my budget. Um, basically, 
I started off in my attic and I built um, a hobo fort, uh, I'd like to call it, from pallets. I built the shell from old pallets. I used uh, old um, building insulation that was left in the attic um, and foam from an old couch, two old couches. So basically I sliced the foam across and I, I built the, the shell first with pallets and then I used the foam in front of the insulation and it actually worked quite well starting off, you know. There are lots of different ways to do this starting off, definitely. Uh, you can spend a lot of money on a professional booth. Um, you can make your own. There's lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to do it. One of the most popular things I see is um, it's made from, uh, I think, insulation pipe or piping, plastic piping and moving blankets, which are really soundproof. And those things work as good as anything at all. So lots of people make lots of money using moving blankets. I've even heard of people recording in their car because the car was apparently quite soundproof as well. So that might uh, that might work for you. So now you've got your your laptop set up with your recording format Audacity. You've got your interface. You've got your microphone and your headphones. What you need to do now is practice, 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 practice. So what read, read, just keep reading what was what I say, read as much as you can and watch TV commercials or listen to radio commercials and how they sound and then try and repeat it or try and sound like them um, if you can of how, how they how they flow and how they use the words. Um, again, you know, on Audacity, you'll need to record, you'll need to edit out the, the breath work. Like if you're, for example, if you're reading and you know, because I'm quite breathy and in between the words, I have to remove my breath. So there is a tutorial I've made on my, my channel on how to remove the breaths. And then secondly, how to master your audio to make it, uh, you know, quality enough for, for a voiceover uh, for sale. So another thing you really need to do is take things one day at a time. This is not going to be done just like that. You know, you're going to need to take it one day at a time, try and learn something new or a couple of things every single day and you will progress. And as much as you feel like you're banging your head against the wall, you will eventually get there and you will, the feeling when you sell your first voiceover, even if it's only for $5, is unbelievable when you get to that stage. Uh, it's a real feeling of, of achievement. So what you'll also need to do then is to make some demos. Some people get professionally made demos, which I think, you know, I've never done that. Everything I've done is I've made myself. Um, and a great way to, to make the demos is to use a lot of the material and the audio that um, that you've used, you know, for your practice. So when you when you record something, you know, for example, you might record a commercial read if you want to read something. I'll explain to you in a couple of seconds where you can find this material, but you read off something and then you'll save it to a file. Um, and, and basically then you can use that uh, as, as well, your demo. What really sounds good with your audio when you're speaking sometimes is to add in some music in the background. And this is very easily done. Um, there are lots of, there's lots of royalty free music available on YouTube, or maybe you have a different format where you have your own music or whatever, but basically it's so easily done. You can just drag and drop the, uh, the music file behind the audio and then lower the, the volume of the, uh, the music. And it sounds really good together. So if you have a collection of these together, so for example, I might read about uh, a car commercial and then I might do a news article and then I might act as an old British wizard. But I'll put these together, which shows the flexibility of my voice. And this then becomes my voiceover demo. Uh, when you join these sites, and I'll, I'll speak about the sites in a second, you can look at what other people are doing. You know, they have a lot of reviews, professional voice actors, that have a lot of, you know, they've been there for years, have a listen to what they're doing, have a look at their profiles. And um, I won't say copy exactly, but you'll get a real, a general idea of what you, you know, you should be close to, to be successful and to make some money. And the next step will be the sites that you join. There are, you can of course go through an agent, which costs a lot of money, but you, he might get you a lot of work or he might not. I know people who've been very successful with agents and people who haven't been successful at all. I think starting off though, the best thing to do is to, to go your own way. Maybe if you're more a customer, more, more versed down the line, you, you can hire an agent. 
Now, there's two types of sites you can join for voiceover. There is uh, pay to play, which basically are the sites that um, you pay money and they give you, you know, jobs to audition for. Or there's free sites that are free to play. First of all, I'll go quickly to the sites that are uh, pay to play. Voices.com is very popular, but it's about $500 for, for the year. They had an offer for Christmas, or I think it was Black Friday, uh, where it was like $300. Then there's Voices123 um, and Mandy Voice in the UK, where you basically pay an annual fee or a monthly fee uh, to, to be on their site and to have access to the jobs. Now, for me, one of the best places to go is the free, free to play, which sounds great because it's free, right? But you can make a lot of money on free to play. Uh, there's a lot of work available there. And depending on, you're starting off a good way to get audition material and to start off a voice acting, acting in particular, is the Casting Call Club. Now, I've also made a video on my channel, uh, how to audition for the Casting Call Club, which shows you exactly um, from start to finish how to record the audio, how to submit it and how to look for the jobs that suit you on Casting Call Club. This is free completely. They have jobs for a lot of free work which you probably don't want to do, but it's a good way to start off. They have work that, you know, can, you can end up in a cartoon. I've been in a cartoon from Casting Hall Club. They do video games, all sorts of things and different prices, different rates, but it's free and it's very user friendly. And one of the beautiful things about Casting Hall Club, because of the variety of different jobs that you'll probably do there or audition for, um, it'll give you great material for your demo. So when you do make your demo, you might do a character voice demo and you can use some of the old stuff that you've made uh, from Casting Call Club. Then there are a lot more, of course. There are, wow, um, there's fivesquid.com, which is based in the UK. I've also made a YouTube tutorial on my channel, how to audition for jobs and how to get work on fivesquid.com. Just have a look at my YouTube channel. And um, by the way, if you can, hit the subscribe button as well, please. Uh, so you'll get more updates when I make more videos. Thank you. So fivesquid.com, then we have Fiverr.com, uh, Upwork.com, People Per Hour. There's lots of them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a link to all these sites or I'll put them in the uh, in the comment section so you can see them then. Um, of course, you know, basically that's covered a lot of what, what you what you need to do to get starting off. And it might seem like a lot of information, but if you take it one day at a time, you will get there and, um, you know, don't give up and keep the dream alive because I basically myself was going for a couple of months before I really got, I think it was two months before I got actually paid for my first voiceover. It wasn't a lot, but it was the happiest day of my life at the time, as you can imagine, because you put the effort in and when you actually, you know, see the order coming in and you get paid for it and reviews are really important as well. So when you do get started on these sites, um, it's good to charge less at the start because basically you're, you're up against people who are, you know, voicing for years and they have loads of reviews. So as in everything these days, you'll need reviews to get the lots of reviews and lots of work, lower the price. Like for example, on five or five squid, you might do it for five pounds, um, or Upwork, you know, do lots of work for, for less money, but then you'll get the reviews. And once the reviews build up, you can up, up your price. Okay. So I think we've covered a lot now. And uh, if you've any questions, put them in the comment section at all. I'll do my best to answer them. If I've done something wrong or said something wrong, because I'm nowhere near an expert, of course, I'm very much a novice in this game also. Um, please put them in the comment section and let me know. And uh, as always, best of luck, folks. Try, you know, keep trying. Don't give up. And uh, happy voiceover. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. If you're looking for a voice actor, you came to the right place, my friend. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, you're going to end up with the Gambino crew and sleeping with the fishes. Capiche?